Hello everyone. I am Sakshi Kesharwal and I'm a math expert in our Sky Deal. So today we'll be starting with the chapter name that is surface area and volume. So surface area and volume uh to be for your kind information we have been studying since I don't know from from fifth grade or sixth grade so definitely I can give you in like surety like right. So from sixth grade we have started what are the things so like we have just got into the basics and six and seven and eight and then nine and this chapter still continues for the class ten. So we have this chapter till class ten so that you understand the concepts slowly and steadily everything and that is more important right. So surface area and volume is a uh, like uh, things which we do in a day to day life. Like when you want to do the construction or maybe you want to renovate a room, right? So how many numbers of the ply boards that you want to buy, right? How many like how much paint is required to color like you paint, right? Like color your room, right? Paint your room. right so these are the things which is the practical and the real life example of surface area and volume you might be thinking yeah this is just a finding the areas and this is a very calculative yes this chapter is a calculative one but yes uh, this is very much important for a day to day life also like if you want to say that you want to uh, paint the room right so how much paint that you are going to buy right so first you will just see this is like one of the thing now let us suppose you want to buy a a side table right and you know what is the area near the side table so how much like how much big side table that you are going to buy sides the table size varies so you want to buy the very specific size which has been required by you so you should know the measurements and everything very properly and most of the shapes which we see are like the generalized shapes and yes and the other shapes which you see like the designer shapes it's like uh, made up from the like the basic shapes which we have done right so today in the first class this is like uh, uh, the first lecture of the surface area and volume is specifically for the uh, revision of class 8 right because this is the topic which we have studied in the class 8 right so this is a part like first lecture will be a totally uh, dedicated to your class 8 kind of a revision sort of right so uh, last class we have studied about the uh, surface area of a cube and cuboid and a cylinder we have already done the surface area volume of a cube and cuboid this we have done so first chapter is like first lecture is dedicated to class 8 so let's get started with it so let's have a quick revision of what we have done and let's do some little bit of practice so that will be helpful for you right so let's start with it yeah let's talk about the surface area and volume it consists of a good weightage around uh, like in your syllabus like cbsc weightage if you talk about your cbsc weightage yeah if you talk about your cbsc weightage it's consist of 8 to 9 marks it depends right from school to school because this is class 9 grade so it varies right so yes this chapter consists of a good weightage and the student loses the marks because of the calculation sometimes they understand and sometimes they don't but they lose their marks because of their calculation so be very specific this chapter is going to be a little bit calculative there will be a lots of addition multiplication subtraction and division will be there right so let's get start with it so what are the topics that we will be covering this is a topic which is from which we have already learned in a class 8 uh, right that is the surface area of a cube and cuboid and the surface area of a right circular cylinder this we have already done it so i'll give you a very uh, i think so we can be a little bit fast and jump to the questions very easily so you can just see the images over here the building the building is in the shape of what better the cuboid right uh, like the sofa the sofa is like if you're just going to make a cut from here the here from like the properly so it is like we took two cuboids and join it we have given the design but actually the when we have started making it it was a what a cuboid right so these are the things which we have in our day to day life right and uh, if we want to like uh, have <clears throat> you can say that uh, um just uh, okay so it's like this uh, you have to just start like you have so many things like the be be bed which you have it's what a cuboid the laptop which you have it's a cuboid so many things the books which you read all the books which you have is in the shape of what cuboids right so what are the cuboids and what are the stuffs which we have so let's go a little bit fast what are the surface area and the cuboid cube of cuboid right so uh, if you take this that is the space occupied by the two dimensional flat surface it's called an area right so this is can you see the sheet of paper right i think so this is like a little bit blurry but right so if you see the sheet of paper the sheet paper is a what a flat surface so it is consist of a area right now it measure 
it is measured in square units like square unit it can be a meter square meter or it can be square centimeter can be square kilometers anything right depending on the how big the thing is right the area occupied by the three dimensional object by its outer surface it's called its outer surface area now if you have <coughs> if you have <coughs> if you have let us suppose this is a three dimensional figure around me or the like the phone that you have around you right so this is the phone that you have around you right so this is what a three dimensional surface so what is the outer surface area the outer surface area is the part which you touch physically like which you can physically feel this thing yeah this is the things which you physically feel right these are the things which you physically feels are known as what beta the outer surface area right right and it is measured also in the square units right again in the square units we are finding the area now the surface area formula in the geometry refers to the lateral uh, lateral surface area or the and the total surface area lateral surface area means what like the boundaries like this right yeah the outer like this this these are the lateral surface area the boundaries right or if you take this box right so this 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 these are what lateral surface total surface area by the word how much area it's covering like how much portion that you can feel you can feel this part 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 see all these parts are what beta so what are the like cuboids let's go a little bit fast so how the cuboids were formed cuboids were formed with what if you take a rectangle right this is what a rectangle is right so if you take a single sheet of a paper like i'll just consider that the thickness of the sheet is negligible negligible right so the height which we consider for this sheet is like negligible negligible right so this have length and the breadth right now what happen if i start taking like uh, many of the sheets with me right it's not yeah many sheets with me so you see that the height has been raised a little bit height is raised right so this is happens with the book when you start winding up the books what happen you have only a single sheet of paper and then when you start like pile up like 100 or like thousands of sheets a figure form is what a cuboid yes you can see that this is a book which i have so this is will be a what a cuboid right so these are the cuboids and the cuboids are made up of the what beta a uh, six rectangular faces right so this we have done in the class eight that how many faces a cuboid have how many edges and the face what is this it have so we have already done in the previous classes right so let's go a little bit counting little bit fast so it is made up of the six rectangular like faces so one rectangle the second one right this is the third this one is fourth this one is the fifth and this one is the sixth so it is like front back side side top bottom right so they are the six faces right so all the faces are what beta rectangle so what it is a things if we say that this one is a rectangle this one is the length right this one is your breadth and this one is your what height right so if i want to find that if i say find the lateral surface area what do you mean by lateral surface area lateral surface area <coughs> except the top and the bottom right the room in which you are sitting is in the shape of what <coughs> it's a cuboid it's a cuboid right <coughs> maybe some of you are very specific that the room is what a cube right but it is what generally the rooms are what with a cube cubes are generally we don't have rooms with cubes right but depends where do you live right so you see that it is like one rectangle sheet like you have a terrace right this is it this is it this surface and you just compare that the that the terrace right the bow head where there is a fan right so it was like if i say that this one is the length this one is the breadth and this one is the height so its area this area the top portion area is equals to how much with the lv right the bottom area these two are what beta congruent figures this and this are what congruent figures right or not so we say that this area is lv and this area is also what beta lv right now you just see this area this is what this is having a breadth right this is having a breadth and this is having the height See this surface, right? So this is having a breadth, and this one is having height. So you see that this side of my wall and this side of my wall, like I have a wall, I'm sitting in a room. So these sides of the walls are what beta. So what will be the area over here? It will be what bh. Yeah, this will be bh, and this will be what bh. Now let's talk about the front area, right? So it have a length, right? My front wall and my back wall, the wall which is back of me and the front wall, right? So this is what what length, and this one is your height. right or not 
length and the height what is the surface area the surface area will be what beta lh and over here also back is also what beta lh so this is like the total surface area which you have peeled it out so this is what the total surface area lateral surface area will be what top and bottom nahi hai there won't be no top and there won't be any bottom there will be only the side faces right so what are the things we get <clears throat> so what are the things we get over here uh, i think so all the formulas are written so let's see uh, what we get <clears throat> we get two times like we get two times uh, lb right then we get two times of bh like side lb is like top and bottom right bh is side and lh is the front and the back right so this is two times of lh right can you take the two common so this is what two times of lb plus bh plus lh which is known as what beta total surface area <clears throat> in short we write tsa just for a convenience that tsa is very strong right now what is the lateral csa or curved surface area right now the cube do not have curved surface area so we say this this have a lateral surface lateral means what the boundaries yeah we don't talk about the terrace and the bottom right so this is what the boundaries so if i say the side one the sides are what the two sides are what bh right so csa will be how much beta csa is equals to what uh 2 bh right and front and the back front and the back is what 2 lh right so 2 times of lh right so you can take that 2 hs common then l plus b that is a formula now one more thing if i say that if this is a cuboid length is equals to 2 cm breadth is equals to 2 cm and height is equals to 3 cm is this a cuboid or a cube this is a cuboid cuboid it is not necessary that if two of the lengths are same then the third length can be different right so this is still a cuboid please make attention that this is still a cuboid right now what is a cube cube means what that the length breadth and height have you seen the rubik cubes i'll just take an example because rubik cubes in being uh, seen by most of the students right if you see if you have seen the rubik cubes right now i don't have rubik cubes that i i would have shown to you right so if you have a rubik cube with you so uh, you will see that uh, uh, like uh, all the length breadth and height like everything is what same so if i say that length is equals to breadth is equals to height and i'm naming saying this as a say right and you know what are the edges and the vertices edges are basically where the two faces meet right where the two faces meet like right? this is the edge right so how many edges that a cube have a cuboid have 12 edges like one then you have two then you have three you have four you have five you have six you have seven you have eight then you have nine you have 10 you have 11 you have 12 12 edges right so if i say you what is the length of all the edges right so first let's go on the cube so cube means what all the sides and all the lengths are equal so similarly if i say the terrace the terrace area will be what a into a right that's the uh, that's again a square right the bottom area will be what again a into a that's a square so 2 a square i got the side will be what a into a that's a square this side will be what a into a side square front will be what beta a into a a square and the back is also what a into a a square so how many times we have added a into a that is what six times so tsa of a cube is what beta 6a square right now <clears throat> if i talk about a uh, csa like uh, curved surface area that's csa and csa that's a curved that's lateral surface area of a cube what will be what four walls so this is equals to what 4a square that's it <clears throat> now um i want to ask you one more thing that uh, <clears throat> if i say uh, what will be the area of five walls there is like uh, if i say to find the surface area of a uh, pen holder have you seen a pen holder right so pen holder means what it does not have a top right or not it does not have a top on it right it does not have a top so read out the questions very carefully what it is saying so if it says that what is the area that is a <clears throat> area of five walls right area of five walls so area of five walls will be what total area minus the terrace or area of four walls plus the terrace like plus the bottom right or not you can just go anyway so this is what area of four walls that is 2h plus l plus b plus lb that's the bottom right so this is what the surface area of a cube and cuboid is now let's do on the questions directly we'll jump it out so hopefully you have understood the things now it says that find the lateral surface area and the total surface area of the cube of the land cuboid of the land 80 cm breadth 40 cm and the height this one so how we write it 
So this is L is equals to one meter eighty centimeter, breadth is equals to one meter forty centimeter, and height is equals to one meter twenty centimeter, right? Now. First, we'll find the CSA. See, if you have done find the CSA, then you can just add two times of LB and you'll get the same answer, right? So you can just go either of the way, whatever you feel like. So CSA is equals to how much beta? Two times of H into L plus B, right? So this is equals to what? Two into 20. L plus B is equals to 80 plus 40, right? So this is equals to what? 40 into <clears throat> 120, right? So this is equals to what beta? 4, 8, zero zero centimeter square that's it and what will be your tsa tsa is equals to what you can just do like this like I, I have already found out the csa so it will be what csa csa plus two times of lb right no two lb was not there like terrace and the bottom were not there so i'll just add two times of lb or either you can just use a formula and get it so we i already have the calculation done that is 48 and two times of lb means what two into 80 into 40 so you just add it up so it is what 4800 Plus, uh, it is equals to 32 and this is what? 64, right? 64, right? So you just add it up. So 0, 0 and this is like 2 and this is 1, 1, right? Centimeters square. That's it. That's your answer, right? So are you good to go with this thing, Bitter? Yes? I think so answers are already written. So lateral surface area and the total surface area. It's already written, right? Now, coming to the right circular cylinder. Before, I want to teach you how, well, how the right circular cylinders are formed again because we have already done it. So I want to explain it again. So if you have the sheet of paper, right? This is a sheet of paper. And uh, this one is your length, right? This one is your length. So I will write it for you something. And this one is your breadth, right? So what you did, you just rolled it just rolled it you rolled in such a way that this points have been joined to this point right right this point have joined to what bit at this point right can you see the circle is formed the circles is formed right or not so you just see one thing because because it is very much important that you should know how these constructions are done because what happens sometimes the questions they ask you and this is very much relatable to how the constructions are done right so you have to think a little bit imagination so if you just see that once you have rolled it out right once you have rolled it out this thing so you have seen that the length has become what the length has become the circumference of the circle right or not the length has become the circumference of the circle so can i write that length is equals to what 2 pi r and can i say that breadth is equals to what beta height yes or no i'll just show it to you Oh my goodness, I look so blurry, right? So can you see this? Yeah. Yeah, just see this because I think so because I am using a virtual background. So the lights and this white sheet is like putting an effect, right? So it's like I'm getting very blurry. So just leave, don't don't see me. I'll, I won't show you my face. Right, just see this part, right? So if you see this part, this is what beta the length and this is what the your length will become what two pi r and the breadth will become what your height breadth becomes your height so what will be the surface area of this the curved surface now this is going to be curved right or not when you're going to do this this is this this substance is going to have a curved surface area right or not right so this is how this has been made right can you see this so length becomes your two pi r and this has become so we know that the area for a rectangle is what length into breadth right so what is the curved surface area it is what two pi r into h See, what you do, this chapter is very much, <coughs> once you've understood, there's no need to memorize the formula for every little thing, right? So it is what beta 2 pi r, right? Length becomes 2 pi r and the breadth becomes this. So what is the surface area? Uh, surface area, that's called surface area becomes what beta 2 pi r h. Now, uh, one thing if I want to ask you, uh, can you just give me, hold on, I'm just closing my camera for one, just one minute. I'll get a, something for you. Wait, hold on. Yes, kids. So have you seen this bottle? Yeah. 
what is this this is what a cylinder right so if you see that the cylinder is having a top the cylinder is having a bottom so what is the red portion surface area if i know the radius of it what is the surface area how much like if i say i want to just cover this uh, red like how many red sheets how many like big red red sheet i required for this bottle to cover it up right so what i'll be doing i'll be finding the surface area that's curved surface area or not so curved surface area formula will be what 2 pi rh like 2 pi rh like pi rh 2 pi rh from here right and h is the height right now if i say to find the total surface area total surface area will have this it will have what it will have the bottom and it will have like it will have sorry it will have a top and it will have one bit of bottom right or not so you will see that the curved total surface area includes the curved surface area plus Two times the what circle? Two times the what bit of circle? That's it. So this is how we get the formula, right? <clears throat> yeah. So you just see this over here. That is what is a TSA? Like you have a cylinder. Why we say a right circular cylinder? Right circulars we generally take right circular cylinder. We don't take any like random circular right circular cylinder. Right circular cylinder bit of what? See this if you have this figure. so the radius like the center of this the center of this circle and the center of this circle when they are joining and with the like this they are forming a like 90 degree these are form a straight line right it's not like a curve, like it's like not not a bend line it's like 90 degree with the with the radius right it's always 90 degree with the radius so it's like this right <clears throat> so that's why we use a right circular cylinder so what is a tsa tsa if i say so what will be your csa csa we right now we did l into b right so this is what 2 pi r into h this is how you got the formula that is 2 pi r h that is a csa right this is a formula of the derivation and let's talk about the tsa tsa is equals to what beta csa plus 2 times the area of the circle 2 times area of circle right so this is equals to what csa is equals to what it's 2 pi r h Plus two times the area of circle. Area of circle is what pi r square. So pi r square. You see that beta two pi r is what common. So you get two pi r h plus r. This is your formula. So if you don't know the formula, it's okay. You can always derive. If you remember this, that's okay. If you don't remember this, it's okay. But the point is that you should remember this much minimum, right? So now let's do the questions on it. Like what are the question it says? A cylindrical pillar. Is fifty centimeter in diameter, right? This is a cylindrical pillar, and the height is what one point two meter. So we, as we have been doing since the basics, like from like journey, like like from the junior grades, always when you solve the questions, put your like the while the break put put all these numbers in the same unit, right? So find the cost of painting the curved surface surface. Area of the pillar at the rate of twelve rupees, twelve point five rupees per meter square, right? So this is what now it's asking in the meter per square. So it's better to convert the centimeter into meter, yes or no? Because the rate price is given into what meter per per meter square. So this is how this is one of the practical example. You think that this is all bakwas? No, beta. This is not bakwas. This is very much useful into day to day life. You can go and ask anyone who is an architecture, who is a painter, who is a like a. Carpenter, they are very good at it, and I have seen them. Right, so it says that the pillar has a diameter, right? So diameter is how much beta? Diameter is equals to how much? Fifty centimeter, right? So what is your radius? Your radius will be equals to how much? Radius R is equals to what? Twenty five centimeter, which is equals to what? Zero point two five meter, right? Your height will be how much beta? Three point five meter. Now it says that find the curved surface area. So CSA is how much beta? CSA is equals to how much? 2 pi r h right <clears throat> so now depending the pi value you can take pi value anywhere right you can just choose any pi value nobody ask you you can take 3.14 or whatever so this is what 2 into 3.14 r is equals to what 0.25 and h is equals to 3.15 so when you will be just multiplying everything you will see this will become what beta 0.5 right into 3.5 when you multiply this and this and then multiply 3.14 Right. Uh, if you multiply this, <clears throat> so this is equals to thirty-five into five uh, is equals to five and fourteen seventeen. So one two one point seven five into three point one four. Now you just do the multiplication and get the answer, and I have the answer with you. So the answer is like five point five. Right. 
right? So this is like the curved surface area in the meter square, right? This is in the meter square, right? Now it says that the cost of painting, right? So meter square. So what is the cost of painting? Ah, uh, we have the answer over here. So it says that two pi R H. When you did the multiplication, you get this, right? So what is the cost? Cost will be how much, beta? The cost will be what? C S A into what? Twelve point five zero, right? So you just multiply that as five point five into twelve point five. So you will get the answer two point five zero, which is equals to what, beta? Rupees sixty eight point seven five. That's your answer, right? Now coming to the next question. <clears throat> the next question says that. Uh, yeah, the next question says, okay, it says that find the ratios of the total surface area and the lateral surface area of a cube. It says that of a cube. So what is a cube? That is a TSA of cube is how much beta? TSA of cube is what? Six s square, and lateral surface area is what? CSA is of a cube is how much beta? The CSA of a cube is what four a square, right? So the ratio of what beta TSA upon CSA is equals to what beta six a square upon four a square, which is equals to three by two, which is equals to <clears throat> three ratio two. That's your answer, right? Now coming to that, Mary wants to now let's read out the question. It says that over here. Now every time read out the question, these are easy only, right? So it says that Mary want to decorate her Christmas tree. She want to place her tree on the what bit of wooden block, right? Wooden block covered covered with the colored paper with a picture of Santa on it, right? So what type of the like the wooden block? If you take the wooden block, if you say the block word, block is generally a what a cuboid, right? So she must know the exact quantity of the papers that she has to buy for this purpose. If the box has the length right now, if it's mentioning, then it's a what a cuboid, right? So sometimes like you place a Christmas tree in the like a sort of a cylindrical form, right? Or it's basically it's a crust, I'm not a cylinder, but it's yes, it's a cylinder, right? Right. Uh, length, breadth, and heights are given respectively. How many square sheets of paper of forty centimeter she requires? Now, when you start going, when you buy, when you start purchasing the paper, like the area is this big, and you get a sheets of this, a small small sheets or not? You get the small sheets for your purpose. Yes or no? These are small sheets, like small, small little sheets. You place it on, right or not? So that is what it is talking about, right? So first, if you are going to decorate something, right? So if you're going to decorate the cuboid, so you're not going to decorate the like the base and the the top. Yes or no? The base may you're going to keep it on the ground. Round part you don't decorate, and the top part there will be a tray. So what you will be finding out, you will be finding out what bit of CSA of the cuboid, right? So what you will be finding out. Uh, it's given. What bit of given? Me, what is what is given? Given. Uh -huh. Yeah. Given is what length is equals to what the uh, length, breadth, and height. Length is what eighty cent, eighty centimeter. Breadth is what bit of forty centimeter, and the height is what bit of twenty centimeter. Right. So what do you mean by this? So you will be covering only the CSA. So CSA of a cuboid will be how much beta? CSA of cuboid is equals to how much beta? Two times of h into l plus b, right? So it is what two into twenty plus l plus b is what eighty plus forty, right or not? She wants to decorate. Wait a minute. Okay, I think so. It should be C O E. I think so. Uh, it's is that if she wants to place a tree on the wooden block covered with the covered with the colored paper with the picture of the Santa, she must know the exact quantity of the paper she has to buy. So it means what? It's not the C S A. She will be covering the whole part, right? It's talking about. Please read it out. So I, uh, it's like this. My bad. It's like she wants to place a tree on a wooden block and covered with the colored papers with the picture of the Santa Claus on it. She is she's going to cover the entire part, not the TSA. It is basically the CSA, right? So it is basically going to be what? Yeah, it's TSA. So this is equals to how much beta? It's two times of LB plus BH plus LH. Right, so it is what two times of LB is what eighty into forty plus forty 
plus BH is equals to 40 into 20 and LH is equals to how much beta? 80 into 20, right? So this is equals to what? 2 into what? 3200, right? Plus 68, sorry, 800 plus 1600. So you just add it up. So 30, 40 and 56. So this is 2 into what? Beta 5600 centimeter square that's the area that she has to cover it now she has to require the number of the sheets the number of the sheets is what beta the sheets are what the, you will be using the area of the sheets or not so the area of the sheets will be how much beta the area of square sheets will be what area of square sheets square sheet is equals to what 40 into 40, right? Which is equals to what beta? 16 centimeters square. So number of the sheets will be right. Total area minus the area of one sheet or not. Yes or no? Yes or no? So the number of sheets will be how much beta? The number of sheets is equals to what? PSA of cuboid minor divided by what beta? Area of what? Square? Yes or no? So this is equals to what? This is 2 into, see, I didn't multiply. See, what you can do, you can just do the calculation like this, into 600. So this and this cancels. This is 4, and this is how much beta? 140. Now you see this, this is 2, and this is 2, this is 1, and this is 7. So the number of sheets required is what beta? 7 sheets, right? Right? Now, coming to the next question, <clears throat> it says that, it says that the solid cylinder has a total surface area of this much and its curved surface area is one third of its total surface area. Find the radius and the height of the cylinder. So it's given what beta? PSA is equals to what? 462. And it's given CSA is what beta? One third of PSA, right? Yes or no? Now, can I write this? Now, can I write this TSA? Now, it says that... <clears throat> Now, it says that 1 by 2 times of CSA is equals to what beta? 462, right or not? So, CSA is equals to how much beta? 4, uh, 12, and this will be what? 9, yes or no? You have the CSA, right? And you have PSA, right? So, now let's do the formula. What are the formulas you have? The formulas for this is equals to what? Now, first, let's go with this. It says that 2 pi RH is equals to what? 924, right? And it says that uh, give a close observation. It says that TSA is equals to what beta? CSA plus 2 times of what? Pi R square, right or not? Yes, which is equals to what? 462, right? So if you're going to place this value, oh my goodness, it's one third. Hold on. Please hold on, right? Yeah, it says that CSA is one third of TSA. So CSA is how much beta? One three is equals to what? Four six two, right? So this is equals to what? One five four. CSA is how much beta? CSA is equals to what? One four two, right? Now, this is equals to what beta? CSA plus 2 pi r square, right or not, which is equals to what? 462. So can I write this as 154 is equals to what? 2 pi r square, which is equals to what? 462 plus, so 2 pi r square is equals to what? 462 minus of 154. So 2 pi r square is equals to what? 12 minus 4 is what? 8 and 5 minus 5 is 0 and this is like 3, right? So this is equals to what 2 if you're going to divide this pi r square is equals to what beta 154, right? Now you take the value as 22 by 7 is equals to pi r square is equals to what 154. So this is like 1, like 11, like you see this, this is 11 twos are, and this is like 1 and uh, 4, right? 1 and 4, right? So this is like uh, mm, 11s are right so 1 into 4 right so this is like 2 1s are and this is what 7 
right? So R square is equals to what? Beta seven into seven. So R is equals to how much? Beta seven. So this is how you got the seven, right? Now you want to find the H. So H you can find it by using the CSA. So CSA is equals to how much? Beta CSA is equals to like one fifty four, and this is like two pi R H is equals to like one fifty four is equals to two into twenty two by seven. Into seven into h is equals to like one fifty four. So seven and seven cancel, and you just now saw that this is like two za, and this is like one four za, fourteen za. This is two za, right? Seven za, and this is two, and this is like three point five. So h is equals to how much meter? Three point five centimeter. You got both the answer, right? So please write it down all these things. Done writing. So hopefully, like yeah, we have the answers over here. This is the radius, and these are the heights. So uh, now let's do. We have one more question over here. It's the question. It says that each edge of the cuboid is increased by fifty percent. What the percentage increase in the surface area of the cuboid? Right, Q. So it says that let the edge of Q is like a. Right, it got increased by fifty percent. So new edge will be how much beta? The new edge is equals to what? A plus fifty percent of a, right or not? Right. So this is equals to what? A plus one by two. Like I'll go like a little bit like this. It's like fifty by hundred into a, right? So this is like one, and this is like two. So this is what? A plus one by Two by a, which is equals to what? Three by two a, right? So it says that. Now, if I talk about like uh, old, old TSA, the old TSA was what? Beta six a square, right? So new TSA will be how much beta? New TSA is equals to what? Uh, six. This is a new edge, right? So six into what? Three by two a square, right or not? Right? A. Yeah, it will go a square. That is three by two. A square, right? So you just see this. This is what six into three by two a into three by two a, right? So you just see that this one is three and this one is cancel out, right? So you see this. This is equals to what twenty seven a square by two, right? Yes or no? So this is three a. Now what this says that percentage increase. So percentage increase is what? Now you see that which one is the greater one? You see that this one is the greater one. The new TSA is like the greater one. So the percentage increase, the increase value will be how much greater? The increase is equals to what? Twenty seven by two a square minus of, uh, it was what six a square. So this is equals to what? Better twenty seven a square minus of twelve a square upon by two. Right, so which is equals to what? Fifteen a square by two. Now the percentage increase formula is how much better? The percentage increase formula is what? Increase upon uh, original value, like original into hundred, right or not? So increase is how much better? Fifteen by two a square upon original is what? Better six a square into what? Better hundred, which is equals to what? Can I write this as fifteen by two into six into hundred, right or not? So you just see this. This is like two, and this is like three. No, sorry, this is five. Five. This is five. 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 And you just cancel out. This is like four. Twenty-five. So twenty-five into what is it? Five is what? One twenty-five percent increase, right? So this is the formula. Now you just see this. Yes, the percent increase of the cube is what beta one twenty-five. You will see that the answer is already written. You can just see that how the presentations and everything are right. So you can just write it down how we have done it. Right? You just see the original cube edge was this a. The old TSA is what six. This is the original, right? This is your original TSA, right? So original TSA is what six is square, and new edge is equals to what a plus five, fifty percent of a. So you got the new edge. So new TSA, the increase is what you have to do the subtraction. So subtract it, and the percentage increase formula is what increase upon original into hundred, right? So from here we got everything. So I think so you have understood what we have done in today's class. We have learned how we will find the surface area. How we will find the surface area and uh, surface area and the TSA of a cube and a cuboid, which was the revision of your class now eight itself. So hopefully I made it very clear and we have done some questions. So please keep on practicing and if you have any doubt, please ask it on a PDF and ask with your respective teacher in the class. Thank you so much. Stay safe, enjoy, and bye bye. Bye. Okay, we were doing question number two, right? So what does the question number two says? The question number two says that Mary wants to decorate a Christmas tree and she wants to. 
she wants to decorate the christmas tree and she wants to place a tree on the wooden block covered with the colored paper with the picture of the santa claus on it she must know the exact quantity of the paper she has to buy for this purpose if the box has a length and the breadth and the height is on what with a 20 80 cm 20 cm and 40 cm respectively how many square sheets of the papers of the side 40 cm she requires not just think like this now when you're going to decorate something you cannot get a very big sheet of paper all at once what you get you get a small sheets of paper like this right so you get small sheets of paper like this and which you will be using to decorate like cover the entire part right so what we will be doing first will be finding the tsa of the entire thing which she she is going to cover she is going to cover the wooden box which is the in the form of a cuboid the upper part the bottom part the cs and tsa which she is going to cover so first we'll be finding out the tsa of that part and then we'll be finding out the area of this single sheet right the area of this single sheet and then we'll find the number of it right so what it is given to you it's given over here it's given that uh, volume of like it's it's given like length length is equals to what 80 cm breadth is equals to what bit of 40 cm and height is equals to what bit of 20 cm first she is going to cover it so what what will be finding out that we are finding out tsa of what cuboid right tsa of what cuboid so tsa is cuboid is of what bit of two times of lb plus bh plus lh right so this is equals to what two times of 80 into 40 Plus forty into twenty, plus uh, LH is what twenty eighty into twenty, right? So you just solve it. So it is twenty into what thirty two hundred plus one six zero zero plus uh, it's eight hundred. It's eight hundred plus sixteen hundred. So you just add it up. So mm -hmm. two into what bit of four four hundred four thousand plus it will be what five thousand six hundred. So this is equals to what two into thirty six hundred. That is your TSA. Now then, what you will be finding out? Then you will be finding out the area of the what square paper, right? So area of square paper will be how much bit of area of square paper? Square paper. Is equals to how much beta? So it will be what forty into forty, which is equals to what sixty hundred centimeters square, right? So the number of sheets required, number of sheets required, will be equals to how much beta? That is ah uh, the that is TSA of cuboid, right? TSA of cuboid divided by what area of what square paper? Yes or no? Square paper, right? So which is equals to what beta? Two into what? Five six zero zero. See, I'm not multiplying. You can do like this also. Sixteen hundred. This and this cancel. This is like four, and this is like one, and this is four, right? So this is one, and this is two, and this is one, and this is seven. So number of sheets required is what beta? Seven. Like number of sheets will be how much beta? Seven. That's it. Please write it down, beta. This thing. Now let's do the question number three. What it's saying? It says that a solid cylinder has a total surface area of four hundred sixty-two centimeters square. Its curved surface area is what one third of its total surface area. Find the radius and the height of the cylinder. So first, what it is given? Just read it out. The question. It says that the total TSA is given of the cylinder. TSA of a cylinder is how much? Beta four hundred sixty-two. Right now, what it it says that the curved surface area is one third of the TSA. So CSA is what beta one third of TSA. Right now, can I say that CSA will be equals to what one by three into what four six two, which is equals to what CSA is equals to what one five four? Yes or no? One five four centimeters square. Right or not? Now we have to find the radius and the height. Now you have to think a little bit like this. So CSA is how much beta two pi R H, which is equals to what one fifty four. Now can I write this TSA is equals to what beta CSA plus the top and the bottom that is two times of pi R square is equals to what four hundred sixty two. Now just substitute this. This is what CSA value, which is like one fifty four plus two pi R square is equals to what four hundred sixty two. Right or not? Yes. So this is equals to what two pi r square is equals to what twelve uh, minus four is what beta eight and uh, it's zero and uh, it's three right so pi r square is equals to how much beta 
one five four, right? So this is equals to what twenty two by seven into r square, which is equals to like one fifty four. So this and this is equals to seven. So r square is equals to what? Beta seven square. So r is equals to how much? Beta seven. Now you can just find the value of the height. Height you can use either in the CSA or in the TSA, wherever you want to. You just put it over there, and you get the answer, right? So CSA is equals to how much? Beta CSA we have like one hundred. 54 you can put this value in the tsa as well your choice is yours but i'll go with the csa because this is like very easy to go right which is equals to like 154 which is equals to what 2 pi r h is equals to like 154 so 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into h is equals to like 154 so 7 and 7 cancel and uh, This is what seven. So h is equals to what? Beta seven by two, or h is equals to what? Three point five centimeter. This is your answer. Please write it down. Let us see.